Escape room prices. My screen totally changed size, so I'm changing it back. There we go. Escape room pricing. Um, is the industry price too high, too low? Where in the middle should it be? Is there really a rule of thumb to this? We bring this up because there uh, has been a lot of chatter online lately about the pricing of escape room and whether or not companies having, for example, kids pricing or Groupon pricing or things like that devalues the industry uh, and where that sits. So um, what's our thoughts on escape room pricing? I mean, it's a niche niche industry it's not like a movie theater where like you know you're guaranteed to have millions of people see a movie for twelve dollars because all of that profit adds up when we have two or three locations most companies are one location um you've got to cover that overhead you've got to cover your employees and you know you're probably going only going to have a couple thousand people a year play the game before you have to replace it with something else right um i think 35 bucks for a one hour game is not bad um, some of our competition, you know, with lower ticket prices who actually post pictures of their games online seem to, you know, you get what you pay for with that, um, that other one in PA. Oh, the $10 tickets? Yeah. yeah. Um, where, you know, they post, well, we saw pictures of what the game looks like and it looks like a $10 escape room, you know, use your imagination. It looks like imagine. a snuff film. Yeah. So, um. You know, if you want to make it as immersive as possible, it's something that we strive to do. You got to spend money, and we're not, you know, a billion dollar profiting company. So I mean, we have to make the money back somehow. But thirty five dollars seems reasonable. Twenty five dollars seems reasonable, and fifty bucks for a two hour game, for something so niche like that, I think that's reasonable too. Um, I think, um, you know, for example, Trapdoor implemented kids pricing. We did it last summer. Um, we're doing it again this summer. And the reason being is quite simply that, for example, Cure Z or The Greatest Freak Show, at $50 a ticket, if you're 16, 17 years old, you probably can't afford that ticket. Yeah. We want you to be able to still enjoy the experience. So it's summertime, kids are home from school. We figure let's you know offer up a way to, in a less expensive manner, get the kids out of you know doing dangerous crap on the streets and give them something more inventive to do with their time uh, i used to do dangerous stuff on the streets when i was a kid and look how you turned out came out all right i guess i work out in an escape room <laughs> uh but you know instead of being inside playing a video game or you know or disconnected from society you know let's get people into a place where there's something tangible they can touch and experience together as a community um and that's why we do that is that devaluing the industry i don't think so when our kids pricing is still yeah. more expensive than most of our competitors general admission yeah it's either you know more expensive than competitors or it's the same yeah so i mean yeah now groupon on the other hand that's one i can get behind as devaluing the industry when we first started we fell into the groupon trap and we quickly got out of the groupon trap yeah we were making like seven dollars a ticket if that. Yeah, when all is said and done. If that. What, what a lot of people and to our viewers, if you're watching and you're thinking, well, you know, Groupon lets our whole family attend the experience, blah, blah, blah. Call the escape room and say, you know, we're a big family. Do you have any promotions going on? I was looking at, you know, competitors on Groupon, whatever. And I'm sure people will work with you because even giving you tickets at half price is better than what our take would be off Groupon. Yeah. So what a lot of people don't know about, you know, those sites, uh, Rafi just wrote Groupon as AIDS. A um, little extreme, but um, <laughs> um, point taken. But what essentially happens is Groupon will take your general admission, cut it in half. So let's just go off of, for example, um, here's a $50 ticket. Now it's a $25 ticket. That's what they're going to sell it at. That doesn't mean that's what the escape room company is going to get. Yeah. That is going to be split 50-50. Except there's a little catch. So, 25-25, except that you're the escape room owner eating the sales tax on the original price sold. 
So you're losing another, depending upon where you are, six or seven or eight percent on that total. So you're walking away with less than you know, a quarter of your original sales price. Yeah, and Groupon also likes to do like discount promotions on top of the prices that they yes. advertise. They'll so, do fifty percent off their already fifty percent off ticket. Yeah, and no I, notification to the company. And even then, so, so the Groupon prices on for us on Groupon are radically skewered too. They're more expensive. Like it'll show like yeah, it's like fifty percent off like four hundred dollars, and our tickets. For, you know, for like eight people, it's not four hundred dollars, so it, it's it's cheaper than four hundred dollars. I forget, you know, off the top of my head, it's like three fifty plus tax for ten people, right? Not four hundred dollars that Groupon's advertising it. I think they were going off Boogeyman because Full Fear was forty a ticket. This, this was before Boogeyman. Oh, um, so I mean, the price was just all wrong to begin with. So um, you know, people would call thinking, "Oh, we're gonna get a discount." I'm like, "No, no, no! I'm gonna normal price is cheaper than right. what you're paying on Groupon." So I've been able to kind of steer people away from using it. Uh, and I've also convinced a co- quite a couple of people to um, get a refund on their Groupon. Um, apparently Groupon likes to do refunds like crazy. So um, yeah, it, it works out. We, um, we had pulled like 90% out of Groupon about two years ago now. And you know, we couldn't end the contract. So we ended up because of how many codes were already out. But we limited it to the older games. Yeah. And it had to be Monday through Thursday. Um, and now all those games are almost gone. Yeah. So none of the new content has Groupon on it. Uh, Freak Show certainly will not. Um, but uh, anyway, that's our standpoint on pricing. Um, if you're an escape room company, steer away from the discount sites. It, that does, in our opinion, devalue the industry. I've never had Groupon customers that you know, were really respectful of the content or mm. the game. Like we talked about in our first topic with the craziest scenarios, when people aren't paying for the experience, they do not value it. Yeah. So 